let me ask you do you think that president william samoe arapruto is currently going after uhuru kenyatta and the kenyatta family for revenge and can president william ruto really revenge against the politicians who were against his presidency in the previous 2022 general elections when uhuru Muigai Kenyatta was heading for his retirement. Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta made a statement. And I remember very, very well. This is exactly what Uhuru Kenyatta said. That he will retire peacefully. But his president is Raila Amolo Odinga. Meaning, Uhuru Kenyatta does not recognize William Samoe Arapruto at all as his president and also as the president of the Republic of Kenya. His president is Raila Odinga and according to Uhuru Kenyatta, the official president of the Republic of Kenya is Raila Amolo Odinga. But currently, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion since the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance collapsed. There is a lot of confusion among the leaders from Azimio. Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga, Martha Karua, Kalonzo Musyoka, Eugene Omalo and the rest. Because they are not united. And currently as we speak, even Raila Amolo Odinga himself is accepting, is acknowledging William Ruto as the official president of the Republic of Kenya. Based on Raila Odinga's recent remarks, saying very well that he is ready to work with anyone in the government, including the deputy president Rigadi Kashagwa himself. And that is why even Raila Amolo Odinga himself is not and is no longer defending Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta at all. Because I remember previously, anything that would happen to Uhuru Kenyatta or the Kenyatta family, Raila Odinga was on the forefront to defend them and also to threaten to call for demonstration. Like for instance, do you still remember the issue of Uhuru Kenyatta's farm being touched and the goods that were stolen, Raila Odinga defended the Kenyattas and I remember he threatened to call for demonstration. But currently he cannot, meaning Uhuru Kenyatta is currently on his own now. According to the government, the statement from the government is that Uhuru Kenyatta has refused to officially retire from politics. Uhuru Kenyatta is still very, very active in politics. So he must retire first. But what exactly am I trying to say here? Why am I saying all this? So Uhuru Kenyatta's spokesperson by the name Kansedena has today confronted the state house, Kenya, head on, while outlining a number of issues and also explaining how the former head of state, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta, is being oppressed. How Uhuru Kenyatta is being mistreated by President William Samuel Arapruto. And to make the matter worse, Kansa Dena is saying that it is not Uhuru Kenyatta alone being oppressed, being mistreated. Also, Uhuru Kenyatta's staff members included. And many people have been asking, why can these two leaders, Uhuru and William Ruto, meet and solve all these issues? Must all Kenyans know their issues? Because they are fighting for the taxpayers' money, by the way. But it happens that Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's representatives, or the people working for Uhuru Muge Kenyatta, cannot be granted access to the state house and anyone representing uhuru trying to access the state house without any appointment can be chased out 
not even Uhuru Kenyatta himself can submit the grievances to William Ruto in State House. That is how bad all these issues are. But what Kansedena is talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, really, really shocked me. And I'm still wondering if truly President William Ruto, the one that we all understand and we all know, if he can do all this to Uhuru Kenyatta. And if it's true, then what exactly is causing all these issues? So let me read for you what Kansedena is saying here. But before that, if you want to be receiving daily political updates, political analysis like the one that I'm doing right here, I'm requesting you to please just take one second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Just press the thumbs up button down below. Thank you so much for your support. So first of all, Kansai Dena is saying that the government has refused to renew her contract as the director of communication in the office of the former president Uhuru Kenyatta. So currently, Kansai Dena is working without any contract because her contract is expired. Meaning that even processing Kansai Dena's salary might not happen because she is working without any contract. Now, on the issue of Kansai Dena, this is how the government has responded back to her about the contract that is expired. The government says that through uh, the government's spokesperson, Isaac Mohura, that all staff are in government payroll. They are supposed to be 34 of them, but they are 33, and they are being paid by the government. Also, Kansai Dena is talking about Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's staff being intimidated via midnight calls. Who exactly is doing this in the government? Because the person that was, is trying to do all this is trying to scare Uhuru Kenyatta's staff for them not to attend, not to report to work. Also, she is talking about Mamangina's security. She is saying that the security of Mamangina Kenyatta was withdrawn officially since July 2023 and has never ever been reinstated. You all remember when uh, Mamangina Kenyatta's security was withdrawn during the, the demonstrations across the country led by Raila Odinga. And it was alleged that Uhuru Kenyatta is the one funding Raila Odinga's demonstrations behind the scene. So it has never been reinstated since then. And also, Kansai Dena is talking about uh, Uhuru Kenyatta's vehicles. She's saying that the vehicles are located to Uhuru Kenyatta for personal use were not new. So Uhuru Kenyatta demanded new vehicles to be allocated to him. They were part of his motorcade when he left Kasarani during inauguration ceremony. This was agreed by State House as they begin the process of acquiring new vehicles of the retired president Uhuru Kenyatta to be replaceable every three years. So Uhuru Kenyatta wanted, was demanding for new vehicles ahead of his retirement, and those vehicles must be renewed after every three years. She proceeds to say that the fuel cards issued were blocked since March 2023 to date. Uhuru Kenyatta Uru Kenyatta's motor vehicles are not being fueled by the state. The government has responded by saying that all Uhuru Mwige Kenyatta's vehicles 
are fueled and maintained by the state. And Uhuru Kenyatta is lying that his fuel cards are blocked. So who exactly is saying the truth here? So the government has responded back on the issue of vehicles, on the issue of Uhuru Kenyatta's office being denied office. The government responded by saying that Uhuru Kenyatta should use the office for the former president Mwai Kibaki, an office that was purchased by the government. But it happens that Uhuru Kenyatta is using his own office, which is not paying rent, but he wants the government to pay that office, the rent of that office. That is why the government is saying that Uhuru Kenyatta wants to be a tenant and a landlord at the same time. Uhuru Kenyatta's budget is well allocated, that is according to the government. And the government says that it diligently pays the salary of the retired president Uhuru Kenyatta. I want to leave it at that. And I want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. What exactly is going on? And what could be the reasons behind all this? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. My name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good night. Thank you.